Let's move away from stepping algorithms and discuss drive circuits. The lower four bits of the port B peripheral are used in conjunction with the motor drive circuit to control current flow through the winding. Looking inside the black box, a stepping motor drive circuit is created using two H-bridges. Each H-bridge consists of four MOSFET transistors that will act as switching mechanisms. Protection diodes are used to avoid damage to MOSFETs as a result of voltage spikes produced by the collapse of the magnetic field around each winding once current is removed. The lower half of each H-bridge MOSFET gates connect to the upper four bits of the port B register in this example. The upper half of each H-bridge connects to the lower four bits. Each winding uses its own H-bridge. Again, winding leads are identified using the nomenclature used throughout this presentation. To initiate current flow in a particular direction through each winding, two MOSFETs will need to be turned on at once. For example, to create a right-to-left current direction in winding A, port B bits 7 and 3 are driven high, turning on the MOSFETs connected to their associated pin. Current now flows through the coil. To change direction through winding A, we need only change the MOSFETs activated. In this example, MOSFET gates connected to port B pins 5 and 1 are driven high and current flows from left to right across the winding. Winding B direction is controlled in the same fashion. In the preceding drive circuit example, enhancement type MOSFETs are used. Any transistor could potentially be used, such as bipolar and IGBT transistors. However, MOSFETs are easier to control since they are voltage controlled devices. MOSFETs also offer faster switching times in the IGBT, thereby reducing switching power losses. In the above example, you'll notice that the MOSFETs in the upper half of the H-bridge are P-channel type, and the lower half of the H-bridge are N-channel type. The P-channel MOSFET provides the pull-up, or charge current, for the gate capacitor and the N-channel MOSFET provides the pull-down, or discharge current, for the external gate capacitance. In this presentation, however, we have been activating the upper half of the H-bridge MOSFET gates with a positive voltage, or logic high. If you wish to utilize the algorithm we've used in this presentation, you may consider applying an inverter configuration to the gate of the P-channel type MOSFETs, as shown above using an additional N-type MOSFET. Some other things to consider are the ratings of the MOSFET switching elements used. As always, your application will dictate much of this. Attention to the specifications for the particular motor you are using will help here paying specific attention to current and power ratings. Often stepper motors are driven at higher voltages than listed in their specifications in order to reduce current rise slew rates within the coil to allow for higher step rates. However, in driving the motor at these higher voltage levels, current limiting practices will need to be implemented to avoid damaging the motor.